everybody. Welcome back to Salmon and Cod's Playtime. Today we are talking about decimals again, which is why we've got our furry little friend right here. If you can see him, <laughs> he is right here. He's having a lot of fun. So today we are going to talk about bigger numbers than the number one. Because let's face it, there are bigger numbers. So what if we had the number three point two? Well, what is that? Well, what this is, is it means we have the whole number three. In fact, we're going to put that number three in a box. It means we have the whole number three. But we also have a part of a number next to it, which is why our little decimal point is here. We have a part of a number. What this means is that we have three, but we don't quite have the next number. We don't have four. We've got three and a part of the next number. Okay? We don't have the whole next number. We just have a part of the next number. So we're someplace in between three and four. We haven't made it to the number four yet, okay? We just have a small piece of the number four right here, like leading to the number four. Like we haven't got the whole thing, we've just got some of it, okay? And that's what this means. In between the number three and four, you can break that up into smaller pieces, okay? So right now I have three and a part of the number four. Now remember, this is going to be out of 10, because it's in the first spot, it's going to be out of 10 pieces. It will take 10 pieces to get to the number 4, because we're at 3 right now. In order to get to the number 4, it's going to take 10 pieces, and we only have 2, okay? So let's say that we add to this, and let's say that we get 8 pieces, that we have 3.8. Well, that's closer to the number 4. It takes 10 pieces to make the number 4, and we have 8. So that's much closer. It would look like this. It means that if we're trying to get to the next number, we have 8 out of the 10 pieces we need to make the number 4. Now, what if we had 9? I wrote that upside down. Is that right? That is right. We had 9 out of the 10 pieces. Okay, well, that's closer. We almost have 4. We're almost to the number four. We've got one spot left. What happens when we put this one piece back and we have all ten pieces? Well, we would write the number ten. We put that here. The one would go over here on this side and you would add it to the three. One plus three. And what does that give you? We add that one over here. It would give us our number four. There it is. There's our number four. That's how we got there. Okay, now we have 4.0. Okay, now we're going to try to build the number five. Are you ready? Right now we have no pieces of the number five, so we won't have any of these at all. Okay, what if we got 4.4.1? Remember this 10 wouldn't be here. It would just be 4.1. Okay, well 4.1 means that you don't have the number five yet, but you've got four and one little piece. One out of ten pieces of the number five. Okay? Then we go 4.2 would be our next number. 4.2. Okay? Then we go 4.3, 4 4.4, 4 4. 4. <laughs> I remember what that is a tongue twister now, isn't it? 4.5. Okay? 4.6. 4.7, 4.8, 4.9, and when we had all 10 pieces, then we would have 4 plus 1 is, we would have the number, is that right? That, not right whatsoever. I was trying to write upside down. It didn't work for me. We would have all five pieces. That's what this little dot means. It means you're counting up to the next number. Okay, in little tiny pieces. It means you've broken the next number up into little tiny pieces, and you're counting each little tiny piece until you get to the next number, which I think is really fun. I love this little dot. He can do so many things, and he can build so many things. We can break things up by tens, by one hundreds, by a thousands, and 
even more. Although that's a lot of pieces and it makes my brain go, ah, but that's okay. It's just numbers and it's just little pieces and that's really fun. All right, I hope you all had fun today. We are Stammin' and Cod Playtime. Please like and subscribe and we will see you next time, okay? Thank you for, for playing with me. You are learning a lot and I'm very, very proud of you. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.